hope you've enjoyed the preceding short feature. This is TBS Newswatch with Tina Selden. Good evening. In the National Hockey League playoffs tonight, the New York Islanders outskated the Boston Bruins 2-1 in overtime, and the Minnesota North Stars got past the Montreal Canadiens 3-0. In baseball tonight, the Baltimore Orioles beat the Kansas City Royals 2-1. In some earlier games, it was Oakland over Seattle 6-1. Toronto beat Milwaukee 11-2. Boston over Detroit 10-9. And the Chicago Cubs at Pittsburgh was postponed because of cold weather. With the Superstation as Newswatch continues, this is WTBS, Atlanta, Georgia. This is TBS Newswatch with Tina Selden. A couple of Harvard scientists report that dreams are simply a disconnected drama of what happened to a person during the day. In the current issue of Science 80, doctors J. Allen Hobson and Robert McCarley say that while we are sleeping, the upper brain is hard at work trying to make sense out of the day's events. The scientists discount theories that dreams are psychological windows to the mind. They claim dreams are initiated by simple routine occurrences. From Atlanta, this has been Newswatch. Stay with the Superstation as Newswatch continues. This is WTBS, Atlanta, Georgia. The Consumer Product Safety Commission helps people evaluate the safety of products and takes reports of injuries or deaths related to manufactured products. Phone toll free, 800-638-2666. This is TBS Newswatch with Tina Selden. Good morning. We hope you've enjoyed the third in our Academy Award Film Festival, Wuthering Heights. Coming up tomorrow night, The More the Merrier, a 1943 comedy with Gene Arthur, Joel McRae, and Charles Coburn. In the headlines this morning, President Carter is expected to announce soon more economic sanctions against Iran. Word of those new sanctions could come at a broadcast news conference Carter may hold tomorrow. On Capitol Hill, Treasury Secretary William Miller said inflation and interest rates will probably ease within the next few months and predicted inflation might drop below 10 percent next year. Two days of talks in Washington have ended uh, with pre between President Carter and Israeli Prime Minister Begin. The result? In Intense talks will resume between Israel and Egypt on the tough Palestinian self-rule question. And the first group of Cubans from the refugee-packed Peruvian embassy in Havana have arrived in Costa Rica and co complained about rough treatment from other Cubans on their way out. Well, it may not indicate that the sanctions against Iran are working, but there is one shortage being reported by a commercial newspaper in Tehran. Iranians are running out of zippers. The newspaper says problems on the docks have led to a zipper shortage. 60 cent zippers, according to the report, are now running as high as $1.30. For five years, singer Art Garfunkel has considered himself a divorced man. Now he finds out that he's not. A St. Louis judge has ruled the divorce Garfunkel and his wife Linda obtained in Haiti is invalid because they were not Haitian residents. That means Linda can sue for a brand new divorce and alimony. And now once again, let's join Bill Tush for a look at this morning's mailbag. <laughs> Welcome to the old mailbag, and let's see what everybody has written us this week from High Springs, Florida. I wish that you had mentioned High Springs, Florida. Hi, High Springs. From Augusta, Georgia, could you show some Charlie Chan movies on the weekend? Well, we don't have any... <laughs> we don't have any Charlie Chan movies scheduled for the weekends, but they're going to be beginning on weekday evenings right here on the Superstation starting in June. From Carrizo Springs, Texas. I hope we said that correctly. I would like you to have a Danny Kay Film Festival sometime in the near future. The Danny Kay Film Festival is not scheduled, but we do have one of his movies coming up on July the 5th. It's called uh, Kid from Brooklyn. It'll be on our Hollywood Classics on Saturday morning. From Lafayette, Louisiana, could you check into having a Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, or Hopalong Cassidy film on your great station? We don't have any of the rights to those uh, films starring any of those gentlemen, but we do have some of those films with these people in there, like William Boyd, who played Hopalong Cassidy, is in a couple of the uh, movies playing a minor role. So just look under that hat. Lo and behold, it could be Hoppy. Well, you drop us a line if you have anything you'd like to tell us. We'd love to hear from you. Here's our address. 
for all you Ohio viewers, a judge in Shaker Heights, Ohio, has dismissed paternity charges against Max, a part collie, part German shepherd, accused of fathering 16 puppies. The unique paternity suit was filed by Richard Simon of Beechwood, who had sought $487,000 or $487 in damages from Max's owners, the Emil Gantis family, Simon's neighbors. Simon charged that Max mated with his pedigree German shepherd while she was chained to his backyard fence. He said Max had been running loose in violation of Beechwood's leash, leash law and his owners were liable for his actions. Ms. Gantis uh, disputed the charges, saying that on the day in question, Max had been locked in their garage. Referee Edward Troxell dismissed the case, ruling Simon didn't provide sufficient proof that Max was indeed the father. He added that the court has had no reports of Max, quote, having a reputation for loose behavior. Wisconsin Governor Lee Dreyfus is in trouble for returning to, referring to honey as bee poop. It's not only anatomically wrong, but it's also a buzzword that stings beekeepers and honey producers who happen to be extremely sensitive about their product. And we will have more on that story tomorrow morning. From Atlanta, this has been Newswatch. <laughs> Stay with the Superstation as Newswatch continues. This is WTBS, Atlanta, Georgia.